All right, Steelers fans, okay, Steel Curtain faithful, go ahead, get nice and tidy and comfortable because we got a good one for you today. I, I really am excited to talk about the Steelers. There were a few other teams that I have in line to talk about, but just with given so many of the recent updates in your roster offensively, of course, with letting Deontay Johnson leave the roster, leave the offense, I, I could only imagine there had to have been a lot of fits with the organization. I know that was rumored last year. So they probably saw a great on opportunity to bring in Dante Jackson, the cornerback for the Panthers. So getting that trade squared up, I I'm sure both parties are pretty excited, pretty happy. But let me know what you guys think about that trade. You know, Deontay Johnson, I promise you, like I still believe he is one of the top wide receivers in the league. So it's very unfortunate that you guys do not have them anymore, but I promise you this, George Pickens, and, and guys, I'm a Bengals fan. I want that to be remembered through this entire video. I believe, I already think right now, you know, all things, uh, all things said, George Pickens is already a top 15 wide receiver. You know, a bunch of weirdos are going to say, look at the stats. A bunch of weirdos are going to say, no, he's not too young, blah, blah, blah. George Pickens has a legitimate opportunity, given everything at quarterback that we will discuss later, to be a top 10 dude man top 10 dude and, and i've done my rankings before currently i believe sitting at my top 10 spot and my number 10 spot i believe is garrett wilson for the new york jets and so i'm 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 really big on george pickens and so i don't think this is a, a huge l since you guys still have him in the building and uh, there are a few other amazing absolutely phenomenal additions that you guys made defensively and i just have to go over them of course we already talked about dante jackson so a, a, a reliable corner a guy who is not going to be a, a a show stealer but when you have alex highsmith on one side and then tj watt on the other side collapsing the pocket of course with hayward and benton as well in the middle we will not forget about larry Owens. you have that front five you have those dudes going at the quarterback pressing offensive lines your quarterback position becomes fairly fairly easy and so we could potentially see uh, um, a different Dante Jackson in Pittsburgh which would be absolutely phenomenal for you guys and and the future as well and then of course Joey Porter Jr who had a great rookie campaign but Patrick Queen Patrick Queen from the Baltimore Ravens how do you guys feel about that I really want to know I mean I, I want to say this with all things you know being considered when, when the Bengals play the Baltimore Ravens, I am never worried about Patrick Queen. Uh, me in particular, Quan Smith has all of my attention and all of my respect. Patrick Queen kind of loses me, but you guys let me know. And, I, and once again, I think this could be a different ordeal given the fact that he has a front five that is one of the best in the National Football League, if not the best in the National Football League. Um, I would, I'm probably going to, I'm probably going to say that's the best front over the 49ers, you know, over the Chargers, and you know, of course, Chargers aren't even that great. They're just a bunch of names. But I think that I think the Pittsburgh Steelers do have the best front in the National Football League. Just me thinking right now, in real time. And then Deshaun Elliott, former Texas safety at the University of Texas, is going to be in that strong safety spot for you guys this upcoming season. So there's been a lot of beautiful additions defensively, and of course, the health of T.J. Watt is always you know not a concern not up in the air but it's 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 very very important that he stays healthy for every single game you guys are out there just because he impacts the game so much and this is something that we know he impacts the game so much and then alex highsmith is just the perfect complimentary season to the defense if i if i might say that just just simple fact that you have both those guys dominating the way you do and then now now we get to the meat and potatoes of everything. And I want to start by saying this. I believe, and, and, I, and, I, and I think this will be true, the Pittsburgh Steelers all the way till kickoff and probably throughout the season will be the most talked about franchise in the league. Publicity alone, just with the quarterback, and you guys help me out. Is there a controversy is there a controversy? Of course, you guys get rid of Kenny Pickett. He's in Philadelphia. I know none of you are pissed off about that. I, I'm sure hope most of you are pretty happy. But what happened? You guys went and signed Russell Wilson, former Super Bowl champion. I got to say it, Super Bowl champion Russell Wilson from 
the the Denver Broncos who let him go, who were tired with his shenanigans and, and tired of his efforts on the field. And then you guys messed around and did another trade. And our last Steelers video, right? The last Steelers video, I literally ask you guys, which one would you rather have? Would you rather have Russell Wilson or would you rather have Justin Fields? And a lot of you guys said Justin Fields and a lot of you guys said Russell Wilson. It was a it was a it was a lot of you both saying both parties and it's you got both. You have received both quarterbacks. And this is just so eye opening because I believe, you know, Russell Wilson, he is a polarizing player. I truly, truly believe it. You hear so many things about him as a locker room guy and you see him on the field, how he can turn it up in the big games at times, or at least he's not the problem. He's not the issue. And then we have uh, a non-polarizing player in Justin Fields, but you see the Superman antics. You see him on these 80 yard runs, all these 70 yard touchdown runs. He does have a good deep ball. But then he gets traded for a sixth round pick potentially or fourth round pick depending on how he plays the the market for him was not very high at all and so like i said you have these two quarterbacks very different points in and times in their career they're very very different uh, in age very very different in abilities i just need to know right here right now who do you guys want to start week one? I'm kind of thinking about things in my head and I go, okay, Miles, you know, who do you not want to see on the field? You know, as you, your Cincinnati Bengals defense go out there, um, who do you not want to see at the quarterback position? And I would have to be honest, and this is, and I, and I have a, and I have a different perspective and I'm going to put things in motion, but I would say... I don't want to see Russell Wilson at that starting starting quarterback position, but why? Hold on. Wait, let me explain. It's because when it comes to running quarterbacks, mobile quarterbacks, the AFC North, we're pretty much, you know, Lamar Jackson has pretty much given us the blueprint on how to contain that, on how to make him throw, on how to put him someone in a box to where things become simpler in a in a regard when when we you know AFC North defenses play Lamar Jackson, and so Justin Fields I do not necessarily believe will have the same impact against these AFC North teams. But if you're telling me you know there is a non AFC North team, I guarantee you Justin Fields is going to be the better option just because his electrifying running. And I don't think most teams understand that. I mean, if you look at Lamar Jackson, anytime he leaves the AFC North, he really tears it up, like rips people to shreds. You know, of course, you know, you know, excluding the Chiefs. And so I personally believe if it's um, I mean, there's not going to be a dual quarterback situation. So I would say, look, listen, there's 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 two ways to this. OK, there's the Russell Wilson route where things are safe. Things are, by the game plan, probably by the book, a little bit less off script. But the offensive line is still not where it needs to be for him to really show. But he does have a lethal weapon in George Pickens to where things can happen. And maybe you guys can do something in the draft. Uh, possibly getting another, you know, big time receiver at the spot that you guys have. Getting some speed opposite of Mr. George Pickens himself, but I do see this unfortunate circumstance where Russell Wilson's disgusting antics, and I gotta say it that way because that's how the general public will understand it, the cringiness, the corniness, if you will, apologies, and George Pickens could punch him in the face at halftime in any game. We do know George Pickens, he loves the game of football, but he is a very emotional player to where there could be an, a divide between those two players potentially um and then justin fields you have the playmaking ability you have the potential that people are still honing in on you have the ability for him to escape the pocket and make crazy plays with his legs and go on a run and turn into a running back that is hard to bring down you you have so much and so my personal opinion is what do you guys want what do you guys want do you want the highest potential chance of hosting the Lombardi trophy at the end of the season in my personal opinion you got to go with the boring you know script playing the guy that's kind of been there already in Russell Wilson but do you want to or or 
Do you want to find out if you got a guy? Do you want to find out if you have a potential top 10 quarterback, top five quarterback? I know that Justin Fields faithful. I already believe he's the number one quarterback in the league over Mahomes. I get it. But what do you want? And I think that's what it is. It just, just, you know, putting all things aside, if you want a guy who, you know, day in and day out, both, I think, are going to be prepared each week to play the game at hand. But something just tells me when it comes to throwing the ball, I trust Russell Wilson more than Justin Fields. But when it comes to making a play, you know, extending a play and, and looking for something to get George Pickens open and, and make things electrifying, of course, it's going to be Justin Fields. But I still think and all things being considered, if you're looking for a serious playoff run, it has to be Russell Wilson, in my opinion. But if you're looking to see, hey, do we have a guy that could be a guy? Do we have a dude that could be a dude? The Chicago Bears, I understand they, they said a lot of things, but a lot of things are just media trained people. All those quotes about, I want this guy, we have a blah, 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 blah. That's all BS. It's always been BS. You know, ignore the words and look at the actions. Justin Fields is gone. If they really believed in him, if they really loved him, they would have traded that pick. They would have traded that pick and kept Justin Fields and done the building. You've heard so many professionals say it, but they did not do it. Did not. And th there has to be some sort of reason. Maybe the Bears are just a dumb franchise or maybe they just saw enough. But I do believe that Justin Fields more than likely has a lot of potential and more potential in a, in a city like Pittsburgh and in a franchise where Mike Tomlin gets to mature him and so i just want to know from you guys i honestly believe that both quarterbacks are head and shoulders above kenny pickett and mason rudolph you guys won a lot of games by the helm of the defense a lot of great wins by the defense just making people score 10 points only or 17 points or only and allowing the run game to kind of take things over maybe kenny pickett has a great game and or you know Mason Rudolph just beats the brakes off the Bengals in games like that I do not think either quarterback should make any of you upset necessarily until we get into weeks four five six seven see how these guys are really turning out and so like I said I want to hear from you guys though what does the steel curtain want Wilson to start week one or is it Justin Fields to start week one we already know during training camp both of them they're probably going to be splitting the the one reps the, the 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 first string reps but like i said both i not even both russell wilson has a very big personality and i and i do believe that justin fields is a crazy competitor that wants to start and so having both those guys in the building at the same time fighting for the same job i'm very excited to see what the pittsburgh steelers have for this upcoming season and as long as whoever starts or whoever plays is better than Kenny Pickett, you guys have a very, very high chance of winning the North and making a run. But do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe.